people for this remote training and streaming live to you from CSSR. This is the new one. You can also find us at 107.9 FM, 102.1 FM in the Gulf Islands. That's Salt Spring Radio, your radio. And oh, wow. That's a, that's a new one from Hana. <laughs> I don't even remember that, yeah. doing that, but uh, that day that you know, he always has mics in front of you. Yeah, and we've got in the studio, and not passing through on the phone line, we've got Banana Joe sitting here right with us. I just had you ladies, you know, I mean, I phoned in, and it's not so intimate, but coming into this cozy little studio with these nice puppy dogs, this one greeting me here, this one's kind of doing its own thing, just checking out the, uh, I believe there's going to be a sunrise this morning, it actually is blue sky out there, and uh, we're going to have a beautiful day here on Salt Spring Island. You know, somebody just posted a picture on my Facebook of a blizzard going on back east. In Toronto, I heard. In Toronto, I, I heard. I heard on um, something this morning uh, that there was a big storm coming up from the south, mixed yeah. with an Arctic air from the north, and they were expecting horrible snow. They get lake effect snow in a lot of those places, right? So yeah, it, is, it looked horrible. It looked really horrible. And somebody that is on my Facebook wall, somebody posted that, and said, "Thank God we're here." Yeah. There oh, are daffodils blooming on Salt Spring, by the way. Yeah, oh, and, no. and look at out there. It's a beautiful... Oh, it's gorgeous. Yeah, beautiful day. Beautiful so, morning. So, I'm not going to be in town to capture the sunrise this morning, because I'm here with you two lovely ladies. Oh, thank you. And uh, it's nice and warm and cozy in here. Now, temperature out there this morning, I know in some areas was freezing, because when I got up this morning, out at my house, but at Wendy's, there was ice on her sun deck, and when I got to my park's office, there was frost on the windows of my vehicle. I was scraping it. So I'm guessing on the north end there was no frost. Yeah, and, know, I, and I had, I had, did you have frost? I had ice on you the had, You had ice. So mm -hmm. I know my bananas are still green and growing. That's good. a good thing. So that's a good <laughs> yeah. indication We're, of a mild know, winter. It's so funny. You live on the north end and it is the, the tropical end of the island. I'll tell you what it is. It's And, and it's nothing to do with latitude or location because some of the most exotic temperate gardens are at northern latitudes. If you go to the Scilly Isles off the coast of Scotland, they have the most amazing subtropical gardens at the same latitude as Vancouver. What it is, it's a narrow piece of land at the north end of the island. You've got more water and less land. More water means more moderation mm -hmm. of the temp, just like Grace Point or Scott Point or out right. in Maracaibo. So less land, more ocean means the ocean influence. Yeah. Right. That's what that's what makes that the difference right there. More temperate. More temperate. Yeah. That's yeah. what it is. And I knew that before I even moved there. Okay. I looked at all the frost growing so up. So specifically for oh. piece of property. Oh, totally. Oh. oh, totally. And I've been gardening here since 89. My mom and dad bought here in 78. Wow. On Salt Spring Island, so I, I knew the island pretty well, and I knew that was a mild growing area, so that's that's why I picked that area. So so far so good. Knock on wood. We haven't had winter. Knock on carpet. The <laughs> carpet <laughs> walls here. Have we have carpeted walls. So we'll get on with this forecast. So today, a mix of sun and cloud, becoming cloudy this afternoon. A high of seven degrees Celsius. By the way, eight degrees Celsius is the the normal high temperature for this time of the year, and one degree Celsius is the low normal temperature. So going to be 7 degrees t today, so not so bad. It's going to be oh, pretty close yeah. to the norms. Tonight, cloudy, a low of plus 3. Uh, Saturday, cloudy, becoming a mix of sun and cloud. Late in the afternoon and a high of 6. Tomorrow, by the way, is seedy Saturday. Yeah. It's the annual seedy Saturday, so everybody get out there and get your heirloom seeds and your plants, and I'll be there selling palm trees, of course. Oh, good. Right. And I'll be there selling Ometepe coffee. Perfect. That's good coffee. Oh, I should good. tell you. Well, you know what? Right. I'm going to show up just so I can see both of you. Okay. <laughs> I'll be there. Yeah. And you'll be there. It'll be good. And I think it'll be a good turnout. So. Yeah. And so that's going to be a high of six and uh, cloudy tomorrow, and then a mix of sun and cloud in the afternoon. Sunday, a mix of sun and cloud, low plus one, high of plus six. Monday, cloudy, a low of plus four, high of plus seven. Tuesday, periods of rain, low of four, high of eight. So pretty mild. Wednesday, cloudy, 40% chance of showers, low of plus three, high of plus eight. And Thursday, mix of sun and cloud, low of zero, high of plus eight. So I don't see any cold weather in sight for the southern Gulf Islands. I, know, I think maybe we're going to get by this winter without any big white stuff. I, you know, sometimes we can get a little dumping of snow in March, but generally when you're in that time of year, it's not going to get so cold. Right, it doesn't right. stick around. It doesn't, it doesn't stick, stick around, around, you know. No. So, And I predicted, Dave and Dave show, on the Mondays, I predict, they said, what's your prediction for when I says a mild winter? It is an El Nino year. I predicted a mild. So far, so good, but anything can happen. Once we're halfway through February, then I think we're pretty much in the safe zone when it comes to bitterly cold well, temperatures. Well, we had right? one day this week where it just poured rain. It was yeah. amazing how much um, runoff there was on my road, on my street, yeah. from just, you know, from the ditches overflowing or whatever. 14 was, millimeters. Yeah. And you know, for, um, and I'll go in inches, uh, January we only had 4.2 inches of rain, which is which is down 
because uh, last year we had about 6.5 inches, mm. and usually we get that or more. Yeah. So actually we didn't get a lot of rain for the month of January. I look at the creeks. Yeah. The creeks aren't flowing so good in Mullins Park right now. The weather fact time. You ready yeah. for weather fact time? Weather fact, please. Radio people out there listening all over the world, because people are listening all over the world, right? Yeah, they are. I know I have a listener know, in Nova Scotia. I know one time sometimes. we were talking, we had a, a listener from Halifax who may actually called in. And, yep. and, yeah. Yeah, so he may, be, friend, he may be listening friend. right now. Yeah. So. This is for you, and actually, maybe this weather fact is pertaining to Nova Scotia. It sure is. February 8, 1959, long before we were all born. I was born in 1964, and I know you ladies are 60s babies, right? Well, at least you look like 60s babies. Well, you got, you got one of them right. <laughs> there we go. So, uh, in 1959, on February 8, 55 kilometer hour gales, temperatures as low as minus 22 degrees Celsius affected Nova Scotia. And in 1979, during a blizzard of Equalit Northwest Territories, Winds up to 100 k's and temperatures of minus 40 degrees Celsius were recorded. That's cool. when, again, we always say thank you for, <laughs> for being on the West Coast. Thank you, Salt Spring and the Southern Gulf Island. Thank you, ladies, for having me here. Yes, and I totally you, appreciate Joe. it. Well, I have to tell you uh, what I'm doing now, Joe. I walk in <laughs> yeah, Mowitz. Yeah, uh -huh. I walk in <laughs> Mowitz Park, right, that Joe keeps uh, and his crew keeps. Just wonderful. And Yesterday, I decided I was going on a tiki hunt. Oh, <laughs> it's like finding <laughs> Easter eggs. Well, where's Waldo? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So <laughs> I'm walking around trying to count all the tikis. Well, I only came up with seven. There's ten. All right. So, oh, so there's There's ten. even one, you know, right when you come in the first driveway, right in the gravel, if you just right across the lawn, right down to the creek, there's a big one in there sort of off by itself, too. All right. Oh, there's one way off the that, beaten path. That could, be, that could be a good salt spring thing to do that they do for the visitors. You should do that. The tiki hunt at Mullet Park. Well, there's kids from the high, from the school. Like one of the teachers says, how, they emailed me, how many tiki's in there? Because I can get my kids to, to find them, right? Yeah. You know, and there's actually one featured in our Parks magazine. Oh, I don't that? know who took the photo, somebody from Victoria, but I go, oh, there's one in there. It's kind of cool. <laughs> well, I, uh, now I know. I wanted to know if you knew how many there were. Yeah. And uh, so now I've got now three know. more to find. So next time you're in there, you got to find those other three. Oh, that's I right. enjoyed Well, I think you so might have much. given you a hint where one of them was. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Maybe there you go. To eight, or that might have been one of the ones. I I, who knows? I'll be in there with my chainsaw at some point, and I'll carve another one. I'll sneak another one in on you. <laughs> oh, and then it'll be the yeah. trick question. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Joe, it's so wonderful yeah, you came thank in. Thank you for coming in. Wonderful thank to you. have you. We can today. give you green tea before you go. <laughs> green tea might make me pee. Oh, that's true, <laughs> but not green. Uh, <laughs> I do like it. I did actually have some coffee, but I better not. Oh, Otherwise, okay. I'll be bouncing off the walls. Yeah. All right, All right. All right. Joe. Well, Thank you, ladies. Wonderful. I'll yeah. try to sneak in here some other time, too. Yeah, yeah please do. Yeah, mm -hmm. so I thought what we could do is we'll, we'll play a little Joni Mitchell. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes. The, the original. Love Joni Mitchell. Or, no, the remake of I Wish I Were in Love Again, since we're coming into Valentine's Day, Valentine's Day next, next week. week. Yeah. Remember that. Yeah. Yes, get your present, Joe. I have it ready. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thanks again, Joe. Yeah, well, this song you could dedicate to me. Perfect. All right. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Which I was in love again. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you, ladies. I appreciate it. And here's the lovely radio host right here. There. Hi. And there. Yeah. And there. And there's the puppy dogs. Oh, yeah. You gotta get the puppy dog. Cute puppies. That's a laid back dog. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll put them on there. I'll put them on there. That's this is the puppy. Beautiful dog, friendly. And yeah. there's CFSI radio emblem right there. Isn't that nice? Kind of funky. Kind of retro. Beautiful. Thanks, ladies. Okay. I love it. It's been a slice. Yeah, anytime. Yeah, I'll try to do this again. All right. That was great. Have a great day. Have a good weekend. Hope to see you at CD Saturday. I know you'll be selling coffee. And if you can make it, that's great. All right. Thank you. Have fun.